Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to make yourself a site admin in SharePoint online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so we have logged in using my global admin account to my Microsoft 365 admin center. I will click on the navigation menu and let's go to SharePoint online. Let me click on active sites. As you can see, there are most of the sites. I am the primary admin and I have created these sites. But if I will scroll a bit down, I have two sites which are, you know, created by one of my colleague Ritika. This is the communication site. And if I will show you, there is one more site with the name of Ritika Teams. So this is the team site. So as you can see, the primary admin of this communication site is Ritika and there is one more site with the name of Ritika Teams. This is the team site. If I will select this radio button and click on the site name and let's click on the permissions. Here you can see there is the one site admin which is Ritika. So the site owner is also the same and the site member is only Ritika. So let's see being a global admin or a SharePoint admin if I am able to, you know, access the site or not. So let's first open Ritika communication site in the new tab and you can see it is asking us like you need a permission to access the site. Let's try to, you know, open the team site as well in the new tab and same here. I am also not able to access this team site as well. So now let's go back to my SharePoint admin center. Now I want to have access to both these sites. So for that, what you need to do like first I will select the radio button of uh, this communication site which is of Ritika. So here you can see I am getting the option of manage admins. So if I will click on this you can see there is only one primary admin which is Ritika. So here you can also read like the site admins have the full control on the site and access to everything and the site admin also have the ad additional permissions such as managing search and recycle bin and enabling or disabling the site features as well. So let's grant myself the permission to this site. Okay. Let me select. Okay. So you can here change like she will be the primary admin and I am the admin. If you want to, you know, become a primary admin, you can also do that. So that way Ritika now will be the admin only. So let's make her the primary admin and I will be normal admin. So now I will click on save. It's updating the site and now our site is updated. So if I will now try to, you know, let me first close this and let's try to open this in the new tab. So you can see now I have the access to this communication site. Now let's go back to SharePoint admin center. As of now, I don't have the permission on this team site. So again, I will select the radio button of this team site. Let me click on permissions. Here I am getting one additional option of manage group owners. If I click on the Ritika communication here, I was only getting the option of manage admins. But however, when I'm clicking on this Ritika teams, I'm getting two options, manage group owner and manage additional admins. So what, what is the difference between these both? So if I click on manage group owners, so this particular team site, you know, whenever we create a team site, automatically one team site is associated with the Microsoft 365 group. So you can read here like group owners have all the permission to the site admins and can also manage the group settings and membership. Let me close this and again click on permission and now click on manage additional admins. So in additional admins, it's written like site admins have the full control to the site. They also have the additional permissions such as manage, managing the search, recycle bin and enabling enabling or disabling the features. But the difference between both of them is like if I will add myself as an additional admin, I will be having the access to this site. But however, if I'll click on manage group owners by selecting managing group owners, I will be the member of the entire group and that Microsoft 365 group wheresoever that group will be associated. I will be having the access to all the things. Let me close this. I will only add myself as a additional admin. Let me add my name. Okay. Now I will click on save. 
so it's updating site and now my site is updated let me try to open the site in new tab now so you can see in the team site now i have the access so friends that's how we manage you know the permissions on the specific site there was a difference between the communication site permissions and the team site only one more feature you get in the teams site is that you get two options to manage the group owners and manage the additional admins so friends that's how you can make yourself a site admin of teams and communication site that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video